with every new Power BI monthly update comes several new features. In one of those updates, I'm not sure which one it is, as there are very many and also frequent. We have seen a major change to the Power BI user interface, particularly regarding how we create and format our visuals. In the past, we used to have three default panels, the fields pane, where we pick our data fields to be used on the charts, the visualizations pane, where we pick the charts, we uh, configure the charts here, and we also format the charts here. And we also used to have the filters pane right here, where we used to filter the data displayed on the chart. In the updated user interface, the only pane you will see by default is the data pane. And like the previous fields pane, this is where we pick our data fields. The filter pane is also there in a collapsed mode, but when you click on this arrow right here, you can use that to expand the filters pane. The visualizations pane, however, has been split. First, to create a chart now, you have to go to the home tab and then you will come right here to pick any of the charts that you would like to use in your reports. And if you don't find it in the default view, you can use this arrow to expand the visual gallery. And you can see that this gallery is even much more cleaner than what we used to have because all the charts have now been properly categorized. So it is easier to find the charts that you want to use. But before I go into using this, at the time of recording, there is an object interaction option that is still in preview. It allows creating and formatting of charts right on the chart without having the need of going to the panes on this right-hand side panel. It's going to be generally available at some points, but for now, you need to enable it in the preview feature. So if you go to File, and then you click on Options and Settings, and you click on Options, under the preview features, you are going to see an option for on object interaction. So if you have this option enabled, you click OK. If you have to restart your Power BI desktop, then you need to restart your Power BI desktop to get it going. Now, if I want to create a chart now, I will basically come to my home tab and then I will come to this group that has my chart. And let's say I want to use a bar chart. So I can select that bar chart and I have my visualization placeholder on my canvas then you can immediately see that I have the on object interaction on the chart itself. So technically, this is a part of the visualization panel, right? So in the past, under the visualization panel, we used to create the chart and we also used to format the chart. But now for visualization panel, we have two separate aspects, one for building the chart and a different one for formatting the chart. So right now, let's say I want to show um, I want to show profit by country, for example. I can use this field bucket here to add data fields for what I want to display on my chart, or I can still use the regular old school method of going to my data pane, then expand my data here, and I can pick country, and I'm also going to pick profit. Then you can see that I have my chart displaying my profit by country. Now, because there is an object interaction, if I want to format this chart, then I'm just going to click on the brush icon right underneath the view, the visual icon. So if I click on the brush icon, then you will see that I can enable minimally some formatting options. So for example, from here on this particular chart type, I will be able to tick data labels and then I'll be able to add data labels to my chart. However, if I want to see all the options that I can find for formatting of this chart, then I'm going to need to click on the more options. Now, when I click on more options, you will immediately see that I now have my formatting panel showing on the right hand side. And that is just to say that the former visualization panel where we used to do both chart creation and formatting within the same panel has now been split into two separate parts because the formatting section now has its own panel. So to do my formatting, I can basically work from this panel. If I want to go back to uh, my data panel or my fields panel as it's used to be called, then I can simply just toggle and click on this icon right here for data. 
And if I want to make a change to my chart, maybe I want to change the chart type, I can easily come back here to pick a different chart type. Or I may come back to this build a visual icon, which is me using the on object interaction. And I can use this as well to pick a different chart type or to even expand the visual gallery here and pick another chart type. Now, if you are completely used to using the previous method, what we can do is from this on object of build a visual, if I click on this drop down arrow here, I can use this option to move to paint switcher. That means I want to move this entire build a visual from the chart to the panel side. So if I click move to paint switcher, then you are going to see that my building a visual is now right here, almost like the old visualization panel where I can pick my charts from here and I can configure the charts right from the field buckets underneath. And then if I want to do my formatting, I can easily just go to toggle on the formatting button here. Then I will be seeing my formatting panel. And if you would like to display multiple panels at the same time, then you can hold the control on your keyboard, right? So for example, I'm going to hold control on my keyboard and I'm going to select the build a visual icon. And I'm also going to select the data icon. So now I technically have the older view that used to have the fields pane right here, which is now the data panel. And then the visualization pane right here, which has now been separated into two, where you build your visual and where you format your visual. And then the filters panel you see there, which is typically going to be in a collapse mode because you only use it once in a while. And by the time you do this, you still have these drop down arrows for each of those panels. So you can click on the drop down arrow, for example, you can collapse, which is going to hide it. Then I can come back here to click on it again. Yeah. I hold control to click, then it's also going to ensure that, you know, all the other ones are still in place. And for the build a visual um, panel, if I click on the drop down, I can decide to take it back to the chart by clicking on move to visual you can see that that icon is also back here. Another option I have is if I go to my view tab, you can see the paint switcher option. If I click on the drop down for the paint switcher option and I enable move build a visual to switcher paint or to paint switcher, then that also automatically removes that build a visual from the on the object to the panel side. And again, always continue to use your control key to select multiple at the same time. And if you click on the plus icon, then you can see that you can also bring in some other panels whenever you need to use them.